What should I say? You farted. <laughs> now it's Roman. You're a second mom? What the hell does that mean? Second time mom. You said a second mom. <laughs> what? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about my postpartum weight loss, as you can see from the title. I'm not where I would like to be, but I am getting closer each day. I am right now currently eight weeks postpartum, and I have lost a total of 36 pounds. I plan to lose... I would like to lose 40 more pounds just to get back to where I was before I had Reuben basically. Um, to start out the story, I feel like I've always had a hard time with my weight ever since I was probably like, I would say, I mean as young as elementary school. I never felt like I was like, you know, big, but I felt like I wasn't like super skinny. I, I don't know. It's weird to explain, but I feel like I've always had an issue with my weight since I was young, but I feel like I've always also had like really skinny friends. So I always felt like bigger in my group of friends, but I feel like I've always had an issue with my weight and I didn't really know. I feel like I didn't really know how to eat right either, but I can say when I was in high school, I feel like I was about an average weight. I was in a size mm, like seven in pants and I was probably, I want to say like 145, 150, I don't know, something like that. But I was, um, that was probably about like where I was at in high school and I was really active in high school so I maintained my weight like pretty much throughout high school and then when I went to college oh it was so bad the freshman 15 for me was not freshman 15 it was more like freshman fucking 30 40 and then basically my sophomore year 50 I gained 50 pounds I also was in a relationship too like basically going into my sophomore year got into a serious relationship with my now husband and I gained a lot more weight then too I had already gained weight in my freshman year like I said I would say probably freshman 30 and then I gained another 20 when I got into my relationship and I really didn't realize how bad it was until I would say this trip that we took our I say like we took because I took it with one of my line sisters. It was for a class where we went to New York. I talk about it in my first video, but basically when we went on that trip, I had to wear business professional clothes the entire trip. And I don't know why, but I wait till the last minute for a lot of things. That's like a whole different other story, but I was procrastinating on packing and I was getting all the stuff together that I needed to be dressed professional the whole trip because it was um, basically we were doing a, it's called a walk down Wall Street where you meet basically anyone who went to DU and graduated and now works in finance on Wall Street and we get to meet them in their place of their profession and anyways I digress but we were going to there at, to New York and I needed to pack so the day before I was packing and I had to try on my clothes to make sure it looked right to make sure the outfits looked right and thank God I did because nothing fit me at all none of my dress pants fit me my dress shirts didn't fit me nothing fit me and I could not believe it and I just remember crying and calling my mom and telling her like nothing fits me and I was so sad it was like it was really really sad time for me and I called her and she went to the Goodwill and got me like a lot of cute clothes. They were cute clothes and, and she was like, what size are you? And I told her, I don't know, nothing fits me anymore. And I had basically everything like a size eight, I'd say. And she got me everything in a size 10, some 12, um, maybe higher. And I tried them on, they fit me. The fuck, the 10s were tight and I could not believe the size 10 was tight. 
and the shirts were longer so it was okay like I just had to make it work girl like I had to make it work but basically that was like my wake-up call for me because I just was so sad and I just remember like I didn't take a lot of pictures from that trip if I can find any pictures from that trip um, I'll put them here but I do have pictures from other trips like um, the trip um, that same year we went to Vegas and I have a picture from that trip and man like I couldn't believe like how much I had just really let myself gain weight and like let go of my relationship and I just for me I didn't like it at all like it was really tough on me and my body and um, I actually started getting stretch marks from it and it just it just made me feel really sad and I wanted to change to be healthier to eat healthier I wanted to have a healthier lifestyle but basically um, we had me and my husband had talked to a couple people with um, a group kind of like like what you see like with shakes and different supplements like that and we decided to do it and I started doing it as basically like take drink a shake and that's your meal supplement trying to teach you to basically like consume less and lower your calorie intake and I basically I did that and I lost 10 pounds and before that actually I didn't even mention I had weighed myself on the scale and I was like I could not believe how big I had gotten and when I seen the number because I hadn't weighed myself in a long time if you're anything like me if I know I've gained a lot of weight like I don't want to see that fucking scale I don't want to see what it looks like I just kind of want to put it off and not think about it but basically I weighed myself and I just couldn't believe it and I had gotten to I think it was like 195 I don't basically almost 200 pounds and I just knew I needed to change so we ended up doing that shake supplement plan and I lost 10 pounds initially and then after that I felt like okay I can do this like I just need to make this a lifestyle change and that's what I did and basically just consuming less and really trying to listen to my body about when I was full because I can say at least for me it's kind of like culturally if you go to a family party or if you go to your grandma's or someone's house with your family and you finish your food everyone's like are you hungry do you want more sure you don't want a second plate and you're like no I don't want more like, no I don't want more but then you feel kind of rude and you end up eating more or for me at least I am a part of a family of how many of us are there five six seven a family of seven I have three older sisters one younger brother and then my parents and when I was younger if you didn't eat whatever was there girl was gone so I had that mentality like I need to eat it or it's gonna be gone like this is really good this chili is really good or these tamales are really good or rice or whatever the meal is like it was so good I wanted to eat it because it was gonna be gone and I kind of needed to change my mindset on that to like I'm eating to live not living to eat and that was like a big thing for me back then because I feel like I had that really ingrained into me that I just wanted to eat it because it was so good and it was right there. So I feel like I really changed that and I started to listen to my body more and basically I lost 50 pounds, uh, I would say, yeah, 50 pounds or more than 50 pounds and I got down to my lowest which was 135 and I have before and after pictures of that and then I was able to maintain that basically until I had my son uh, Ruben until I got pregnant with Ruben and I got pregnant with Ruben and I gained 50 pounds again and I was scared of that when I was getting pregnant because like I said I've always had an issue with my weight and I just didn't I didn't want to focus on that and I didn't want to just feel bad about gaining so much weight um, during my pregnancy but what I can say happened during my pregnancy is basically right after I had my son I lost 20 pounds within the first week and then after that it was just again changing back to my lifestyle making sure I was eating right and 
you know, just eating healthier, eating less, because unfortunately when I got pregnant with Ruben, I just, well, first of all, I couldn't really eat a lot of healthy options like salads or many fruits because I was throwing up everything I wanted, like hamburger stand and all the bad things <laughs> you can think of, and in large quantities of it, I was not holding back, and I just really didn't I really feel like I didn't take care of myself during my first pregnancy and so I was like my second pregnancy I'm be on top of it because I already have experience and it was so hard to get the baby weight off because I also needed to fit into my wedding dress for my after my first pregnancy and I was able to lose the weight I was about five pounds short of where I wanted to be um, so I got to like 140 I would say and it was tough it was really tough being like losing the weight again but i was able to do it if i have any before and after pictures of that i can insert them but i know i didn't take very many pictures after giving birth because i feel like i was just like i don't know i just it was hard to look at myself and just like really be okay with where my body was at after birth after my first pregnancy I'll see if I have anything that I can compare it to versus like how I looked at my wedding and I just didn't really it was really hard for me because it was hard to like accept my body for where it like you know everything it went through with pregnancy and gaining weight and everything like I said like gaining 50 pounds again and having to lose it again and so I said all these things like I was gonna be so much better this pregnancy and I was not um, so I'm kind of mad at myself about that because I wish I would have just been healthier about this pregnancy with like what I was eating and like just watching myself and I don't know like I don't know I feel like it's hard it's obviously hard being pregnant so anyways I ended up gaining a lot of weight this pregnancy even more than Ruben's I'd say about 15 to 20 more than Ruben's and so I have to lose more this pregnancy uh, well after this pregnancy but it's been actually really good because after I had Ruben we had a lot of stuff going on in our house um, a lot of remodeling happening specifically in our kitchen so I actually had like I feel like a later start on my weight loss just because we had renovations going on in the kitchen so we really couldn't cook or make anything in the kitchen and this time around I've been able to really make healthy choices almost immediately after having Rogan and so I've just been doing a lot of I'd like to do sweet salads and I have some pictures of those and I'll just insert any pictures of food that I have that I've been doing because I've just been documenting some of my food that I've been doing I really like uh, like sweet spring salads and I like Caesar salads and then I'll do something like a protein rice and a vegetable that has to go with this so I'll do like um, either tilapia or chicken and then some rice and either asparagus or broccoli and I for snacks I've been doing like a granola bar for breakfast I would be doing so typically I'll do for breakfast like an egg or an omelet or sometimes I'll do a scrambled a scrambled egg or an omelet and then I'll put like ham in it um, what else I'll put ham and spinach and maybe a little bit of cheese but not too much and then sometimes I'll do like a little side of yogurt and with some apples and dried cranberries or sometimes I'll just do um, like a good amount of yogurt and cranberries and apples it just depends how I'm feeling that morning but those are like typically the breakfasts I've been eating and I'm really enjoying it and then I'll do like sriracha sauce or whatever and then I've been drinking a gallon of water a day and I have this giant thing <laughs> it's nice to keep me accountable plus I drink a lot of water all the time anyways but to make sure that I'm getting in my gallon a day and then for lunch I'll do a salad or if I want I'll do 
like a rice protein and a veggie type of meal and then for dinner do a salad it just depends what I'm feeling like you know sometimes I'll we'll get like chipotle and I'll eat half of the bowl and then after that I'll split that half I'll save the half for like another meal or I'll split that half in half and eat the two parts because I feel like if you ever get like a bowl because I'll get a burrito bowl and if you get a bowl and you eat half and then you save the other half if you put it onto a plate it's actually a lot of food so I'll do that and I feel like I've been really trying to listen to my body and just like listen to when I'm full I have had some setbacks to where I just am like yeah I've lost this much now like let's have a cheat meal and a cheat meal turns into a cheat weekend or a cheat day so of course that's gonna happen and I know that's gonna happen like I've experienced it with throughout my journey of weight loss from you know college till now basically which has been a good how when did we graduate six years ago been a good six years of you know doing this maintaining and and for me the big thing is just remembering that this is a lifestyle change and this is something I really want to do and something that makes me feel comfortable with my body and I like where I'm at when I'm you know just fitter and eating healthier basically so for the first six weeks I was just focusing on my eating habits and just trying to intake better things into my body or things that made me feel good when I eat them and like I said you know sometimes like occasionally eating out but like I tried to eat from cleaner places. So I did that for six weeks and that worked out really well and then for like a week or two I maintained my weight loss because I wasn't really I just I don't know what happened I was just letting go and because I kept seeing the weight come off and then I just kind of hit a plateau because I was I think I was intaking too much so um, I've been trying to like really watch what I'm eating and really listening to my body more about when I'm actually full and when I'm actually versus like when I'm actually dehydrated and I need to drink water because a lot of times if you're hungry like maybe you just haven't drink like maybe you just haven't drinking maybe you just haven't drank any water all day and your body needs to be hydrated and you're replacing that food but recently I I'm back on and I'm really listening to myself and I for me I it's been helping for me to track my calories I know that doesn't work for everybody and that is kind of tedious for some people to track their calories but for me it really helps for me to see what's going on so I'm using my fitness pal right now and that has been really helping me so I've just been keeping track of it that way. I also have like a little chart that I made where I kind of weigh myself every week because I can get a little crazy and I just don't want to weigh myself every day and to really like be looking at the scale so much. I want to kind of see how I'm feeling and I look at myself in the mirror and I see the difference and I have a before and after picture from my so far you know so far in my weight loss journey with postpartum and you obviously seen it in the thumbnail but I'll put it here again and I feel like I've seen a big change and I am happy with that and I'm still trying to lose more and just be comfortable with my body where I'm at but yeah that's basically all I've been doing and right now I really want to hit the ground running with some working out I have been trying to do a walk every day for 30 minutes with my sons and that's been really nice and I also got a sweet sweat belt and I wear that on my walks and that like really makes you sweat like crazy so I love wearing that when I go on my walks I also am going to start T25 and I actually had started it last week or the week before that but then I ended up doing laser hair removal and you can't work out right after you have to wait 24 hours and then I just decided I was gonna wait again 
and do it this week but then this week I was really crazy with work so I'm gonna start Monday and I'm gonna I want to go all the way through with T25 and then I want to do insanity after that I've actually never finished T25 I really like the workout program um, but I've gotten really far in it and I haven't finished but I want to do T25 and I want to finish and then I want to do insanity and I've finished insanity but I want to do it again I really like that program but that's it for this video and my update on my weight loss journey thus far if you guys would like to be a part of it make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions about my postpartum weight loss or anything I talked about in this video be sure to comment below and until then I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 See you in the next video. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye. See you next video. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.